Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. If this happens to be your first time visiting, welcome to Semper Infinitos DIY. I'm so excited to share with you how I made this adorable little Easter bunny for a cloche that I purchased at Walmart. Once I have my clay all kneaded, then I am going to begin to make her head. And by doing that, I am going to first make a ball. I wanna make sure that there's no extra lines or dents in the ball. So I'm going to be using the palm of my hands, just rolling the ball back and forth. Also, all of the items that I'm going to be using in this video, I'm going to list them in the description box down below. As well, I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you so very much for subscribing to my channel. And please do not forget to comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for being here today. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. So here I have a tool and the only reason I'm using this tool is just to help me know exactly where I'm going to be adding her nose. And of course, making sure that when I place her eyes or draw her eyes, whatever I decide to do, they will not be crooked. So here I did was just roll out two little balls and then I just went ahead and placed it right at the tip of where I went ahead and made my mark. And then for her mouth, all I did is just to roll out a piece of clay, made it into a worm shape, and then made a U and placed it right underneath where her nose is at. I want to also add a cute little tongue. So for her ears, all I did again is just roll out the same size of balls, make sure that they're, one is not bigger than the other. And then as you can see, all I'm doing here is just using my hands. And then with my finger, I just went ahead and pressed it down. And then of course, add some pink right inside the ear. I wanted her to have cute little ears, so I thought it would look even more adorable if one was laying down and the other one was standing up. As well, I want to add a cute little bow. So I'm just gonna add her tongue and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna let it sit and dry a little bit more. So when I go in and add her eyes, I would not add any extra dents in there or any type of marks. Now to make her body, all I did was make an egg shape. And because the clay is heavy, I am going to be using a skewer stick. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm going to in, stir it inside her the body, which is the bottom part, and then place the head on top. So once it dries up, of course, it gets lighter. But in the meantime, I'm going to do this because, again, since her the clay is still soft, it can either fall off or it can start leaning to the side, and I don't want that to happen. You can also use glue if you like, but I still recommend you use a stick and this will keep it in place. So now I am going to be making her arms and all I did is just make sure that both are the same length. Then I'm going to go in with a pair of scissors and I'm just going to mark to where I'm making her paws. You can use a knife or um, if you have a clay cutter as well. And this is just to make sure that I make the marks. I'm not gonna cut all the way through. She is starting to look so adorable. So now I'm going to show you how I made her legs. 
All I did was just roll out some clay and then I made an L shape. And then I used my tool to make her feet. And then because I wanted her to have some little toes, so I just went in and added some pink pieces of clay, which just, you had to roll them out really, really small, depending as, well, how big your rabbit is. But I first started like on the ends, on each end, and then in the middle, I went ahead and placed that one in there so it will be easier for me than to go one by one, like in a row. And here they are. I think they look so adorable. So I really love how my little rabbit is coming out. So once I have her all together, I'm still going to let her sit and try to let her get more dry to where I can just start adding her eyes. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be making some carrots. So now I'm going to share with you how I made my basket and the first thing I did just of course roll out my clay and then made a ball and then making a marshmallow shape. Then I went in with my clear block stamp and I just to flatten it. You can use the palm of your hand but I wanted mine to um, be more flat you know make it more like a marshmallow kind of thing than rather a donut <laughs> and then here all i'm doing is just using this tool which is a ball stylus uh, clay tool if you don't have one of these then you can just use the tip of a paintbrush and then here i'm using my flexible clay cutter knife uh, if you don't have one you can use a knife and this is just making those lines and making it look like kind of like a weaving kind of <laughs> and so try to make a little bit look more like a basket or what have you all right so now i'm going to make the handle and all i did is just roll out a piece of shape like a warm shape type of string thing looking <laughs> and then just as you see here rolling it back and forth to make it longer and that was about it and that's how I made my basket. Okay, so now I'm just going to be adding the carrots to the basket and then I'm going to start working on her eyes and eyebrows. So I just made little teardrops and then I just went ahead and placed one on each side. As you can see here, her, her eyes, well, eyelids, and then her eyebrows. And the same thing I'm going to be doing with her eyelashes. So I just roll out some little strips and then just place them on top of the eyelid. And there she is. She looks so cute. <laughs> All right. So now the here is the cloche that I got from Walmart. I really fell in love with it when I saw the little bunny ears on there. Now the wooden part, I am going to be painting that. And I believe I'm going to be using mint aqua, if I'm correct. And then I am just going to give it about two or three coats of paint to let it dry. Now I want her to look like she's sitting somewhere in the fields. So I found this silicone, uh, fondant, fondant silicone at Michael's and I'm going to be brushing some baby oil and this is just so it can help me pull the clay out and it won't get stuck in there or anything like that and I am going to be adding crazy glue yes I'm adding crazy glue and I'm being very careful not to get any of that on my fingers I really love how this is all turning out she looks so adorable and she's going to look twice as adorable sitting in there Okay, my sweet friends, I hope I inspired you to make your own bunny. And if I did, I hope you consider and sharing with me so I can see how adorable your bunny looks like. As well, if you're not following me on Facebook, I hope you consider going over there and following me. You can find me under Maria's Fake Bake. 
And then here is a closer look. What do you think? I really love how she turned out. I love that I added that splash of pink. It looks very adorable. It's also kind of mimicking a mushroom. So thank you again for stopping by. I really appreciate every single one of you. And until the next time, my friends, stay safe, be kind. Bye.